didn't write this. This was written by Jenna Jarngui. <clears throat> See how long uh, you'll recognize it. In the faraway land of Willa McCall, the good King Rothgar was building a hall. A great place to gather to eat food and drink mead, and all of his people could be merry and free. Well, all except Grendel, a terrible beast, who lived in the forest and missed out on the feasts. Grendel was jealous, and Grendel was mean. He snuck out to the hall in the darkness, unseen. Everyone gasped when he banged down the door, and curled up his lips, and screeched a loud roar. People ran and they hid, but Grendel was quicker. He kidnapped some men, as well as some liquor. <laughs> Stuffed them into a bag, stole into the night. Rothgar and his people never had such a fright, until the next night, that is, when Grendel came back. He still wanted revenge. His heart was still black. The men all fought bravely, but their weapons were weak. The swords were all useless, and the future looked bleak. Night after night, the mead hall was ravaged. They lay at the mercy of the awful savage. But one day at last, a ship came to the shore, and in it was Beowulf, a man good to the core. Beowulf was handsome. Beowulf was strong. He could hold several tons and only one palm. He traveled the sea to save Willem McCall from the terrors that Grendel had wreaked on the hall. Rothgar was grateful, but grew nervous with fear. Beowulf said he would neither use sword nor spear to fight Grendel, just the strength of his two arms. How could Beowulf save them from any more harm? The sun set that night, and Beowulf was waiting. He crouched wide awake in his thick armor plating. He heard Grendel approaching in great leaps and bounds, and tensed as the monster broke the door down. Beowulf leaped into action, his giant muscles flexing. He grabbed on Grendel with a grip most perplexing. Grendel howled and he stomped as a tooth rashed about. Beowulf's hold was like iron. Grendel could not get out. They wrestled till Grendel cried out in alarm. Beowulf had ripped off his furry right arm. Grendel hollered with shock and probably pain. He slunk back to the woods, that descendant of Cain. Beowulf had won, and his hand Rothgar shook. They displayed Grendel's arm in the hall on a hook. The kingdom was glad, for the problem was gone. They gave thanks to Beowulf and his great mighty brawn. <laughs>